So here we go, we're getting to the ends now. Ends, holly board every time. Now, we'll just do the holly board and the nine by threes rather than get carried away. So your next one, that one's gonna be there. Holly board, always, you know what I mean? You're turning the cut into straight there again, so everything is square on. That's all you need to think of. And you work square from the field, not the wall. I mean, not to sound cheesy, but you know what it's like. But when you start dropping in cuts like this and you've got used to it, uh, um, it does make you sort of enjoy the game again a bit and you don't have to be, like, mental to do it, you know. It's just nice to do it, you know. It doesn't make a quality floor layers work any more quality. It doesn't make it standard any better. It just, you know, it just gets you there quicker. Because no one was doing the cuts, this system was never around before because the demand for the flooring was never around before, was it? You know, we weren't doing herringbone all the time 20 years ago. But anyway, here we go, another corner. Holly board now is redundant, isn't it? So, she's not going to get everything. She's not the miracle board, you know? This is why the others come into it. So on this one, we are going to need your lock boards. come in handy um it's small so possibly your only board that um would reach in there would be the chewy if you wanted to load them up but i haven't got the chewy here so we're just going to use the lock board okay that cut first you know it just gets in there so that is the reason there is no certain board for certain cuts you know um, tiles or patterns, this, that and the other, it's just certain boards for certain cuts. This is the board for that cut. Where there's a will, there's a way. So, you can, if you think about it, load it all up from this point onwards. I mean, you're going to need to do it to do that corner anyway. So, if that one's going there, you know the next one's going to be coming past, did not you? The next one on top, and you've got your reference line there to do it, so it's no real dramas. A little bit of a ball leg holding it in place, possibly, but it's just these last two. These lock boards come in handy on the long planks when you want to when you want to make sure your tiles in the right position and that before you start and you want to be you don't want to be you know guessing it or using your eye you want to put it in there and lock it in place then yeah it makes life a lot easier. Oops, I didn't take that one. Cheat in the corner there. Okay, unfortunately I've got a gap under the screen there, so it's gonna, it's not cheating, cheating, but it's just the way it is. <laughs> Next video I will show going around the ball nose. what tools you'd want and what methods and tricks and that lot you're going to use for that uh, you know in time there like there will be a lot of videos going on the uh youtube and scribe uk channels because
it's going to be a new company, new start, new fresh start. It's starting to take the boards now a little bit more seriously in that. So, there you go.